Okay, limits. There's three ways that we're going to find limits. One way you've already learned, and it was the numerical way. So much fun. Numer I can spell. <laughs> Numerically, there's graphically, and then there's algebraically. So tomorrow, there would not be a quiz on this, just on 1.1. Okay, and there won't be homework from this tonight, unless you want to do some of it. So I'm going to do the first page. So we're basically going to look um, at numerical again and graph. So this one, oh, don't you have like an equation in yours? Yeah. Okay. I have to look because my notes are it's a little weird. So the limit of L of a function is the value that f of x approaches as x approaches some value a. So as x approaches a, our function is going to approach the limit. So we have we have to we have to approach it from must be the same from both sides. Then we say the limit doesn't exist. So sometimes. That would happen on a graph that looks like this, right? So from the so it's a step function. So left to right does not approach the same thing. So in those cases, the limit does not exist if it doesn't approach the same thing on both sides. The same, yeah, limit. Okay, uh, does yours look a little different? There's an equation there. Yours looks exactly like this. Consider x approaching five from both sides. There's no equation though. Oh, I, I have an equation here, but it's different. Can we? Can I give you an equation? Because you need an equation. Do you have an? Can I see something? Do you have this? Okay, let's move on to that. Okay. <laughs> what? I'm confused. Yes, thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, so let's look at this function. So let's say this is already the equation of the secant. It's already made for us. And we want to approach zero from both sides. So we're going to choose on the left side. Give me numbers getting closer and closer. Let's do four values. Negative a half, sure. Then negative point one. Getting closer and closer to zero is our goal from the left-hand side. Now what? Negative 0 0.01. Let's do one more. Zero, zero, 0.01. Okay, so we're going to need our calculators here. Graphing calculators probably would be helpful for this ugly thing. Um, but, <laughs> but your scientific should work. So first one is 1 plus negative a half. What's 1 plus negative a half? 0 0.5, 0 0.5 to the power of 1 over negative a half. So it's like 2 power of negative 2. I'm going to use my graphing calculator. You, you can use your graphing calculator for this one. I wouldn't give you really ugly things on a test like this, because I do recognize that sometimes it's hard to work with these scientific. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, let's just do this right now first. Okay, so 1 plus, do you know what you can really do that's really helpful? Go like this. If you're, if you're yeah. Best thing in the world. So negative a half stores x, and then each time we can just store it as a new number. Now, when you have a fractional exponent, what do you need? What do you have a fractional exponent? Brackets, right? Especially if you're using an older version. Okay, this is going to be awesome. Four point. Now it says how many decimal places? Does it say? I'm going to tell you. Okay, well, so four. Now we're going to store x as negative 0.1. And then all you have to do is go second enter twice. Boom. Isn't that awesome? 
except for your homework, you can use your graphing calculator, right? It's not for your test. Two point, let's go four decimal places. 2.8680. Did you get the same thing? Pretty much. Is somebody doing that, going through these? Just me? No. The second enter. So you pick your number, right? First. Store it as F. And then go second, enter, second, enter, and that'll bring up that we can get to the previous thing. Yeah. So 2.7320. Okay. Type in the last one. I want you guys to get it. No calculator here. No graphing calculator. You can still solve for these in scientific, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do the last one? Did you get it done? What is it? Okay, so work out the last one. 2.7196. Okay, now the other side. Okay, did you let me take a look after? Okay, so from the right, let's do the same thing, but positive 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. We're going to approach it now. So I'll do the first few. So 0.5 now, store as x. 2.25. Can somebody get the next one? Should we split it up, each row? Do we one? No, okay. Some of you are not even trying. Two, okay, let's do four decimals. 2.5937. Try the next guy now. Two point seven zero. Two point seven zero four eight. Yep. And one more. Two point seven one six nine. Okay, so we're gonna approximate this. Uh, what does it approach approximately to two decimal places? Okay, so the limit as x approaches zero for our function is approximately to two decimal places, 2.72, yeah, 2.72. So that's numerically, right? From the left, from the right. The, these are approximately equal to? There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's numerical value, and that looks like a very special number, but. From here? So here it's getting smaller on this side. We're just approximating it right now. We're estimating it. So I said to approximate to, uh, to two decimal places. So that's why I said approximately. Yeah. Right. So I'm, I'm just estimating. Okay. So moving on. Let's look at graphically. Something new. Yeah, one page. Oh, is, is this not on the same page as you? Oh, well, I want it. It was. I, so, can, can we to please? <laughs> Honestly, this is the fun stuff. It's graphically. It's so easy. I promise. It's like. Okay. Okay. So. All right. 
So when we, a limit has to approach the same thing from both sides. So this says, what is the limit as x approaches negative 1 for our function f of x? So we go to x equals negative 1. And we have to see, OK, at negative 1, what is it approaching from both sides? y equals what? 3. So it's 3. And that's approach, it's really easy. Pretty simple. Basically figuring out the y value it's approaching. Okay, so this guy, the limit as x approaches 9, positive 9, from both sides. So what is it appro approximately in this case? Approximately negative 4.5. Good. Okay, so the limit is different than, well, it seems like the same, but it's not the same. So what is, what, what is f of negative 5 asking? What is y? It's actually looking for the actual point. What is the y when x is negative 5? So at negative 5, does not exist. Yeah, it does not exist. Or you can say it's an open circle. So at f of 5, it doesn't exist. Right? The point doesn't exist. Hollow dot, so there's no y value. Right? Hollow, no y. So but... Can we find the limit as x approaches negative 5? Is it approaching something from both sides? Yeah, what is it approaching? Uh, the y value? 4. Okay, so the point doesn't exist, but the limit exists. Because it's still approaching something from both sides. Okay? f of 2, what's f of 2 equal to? Ah, uh, careful, where's, at 2, where's the closed? Oh, y equals 2, that is tricky. Oh, uh, okay, so, but, it says, what's the limit as x approaches 2? So let's approach it from both sides, is it approaching the same thing? No, so we say the limit does not exist. You write that, or DNE, does not exist. Beautiful, because it has to approach the same thing from both sides. Okay, so um, that's all we're going to do for now. So you can work on homework. So the 1.1 assignment is page 9, number 7, 8, and 9. Or you can study for your math test tomorrow.